Well, I know we talked a little bit about it last night, but just those two hits and kind of the results you saw yesterday, do you feel like you potentially unlocked something at the plate? And just how are you looking to build off of the, just the results of yesterday for you personally? Uh, yeah, I was able to get two hits. Um, you know, a big one in the second inning, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I felt fine the whole postseason at the plate. So I'm just trying to keep that going. With uh, Yoshinobu today, what did what really stood out to you about just going from game one of the NLDS then to game five, and how are you hoping just to see him continue that tonight? Yeah, I think, you know, the second start, he's able to settle in a little better. Um, you know, so that's what I'm going to look to do, get him to settle in, uh, get through the first couple <laughs> innings, see where he's at. Um, you know, I expect him to come out there and, you know, attack, compete, and, uh, you know, give us a good start. Next question. <clears throat> I'm going to go over there to Jeff on the left, far left. Well, I know Freddie's not in the lineup today. How impressive is what he's been able to do this postseason in being on the field and playing in games with what he's got? Yeah, very impressive. Um, he's in a lot of pain out there. Uh, you can see it, you know, when he's running and all that. Um, but, you know, he's inspiring us as players, as a teammate. Um, you know, willing to put his body on the line, it's it's impressive. It You know, it gets us going. So, uh you know, we love what he's in there. Um, he's been he's been swinging it good for us. So, uh, you know, unfortunately, he's not in there today, but I know he'll be back in there tomorrow. Yeah, we're right over here, Barry. As, as, as far as watching him do the work, I, I saw a thing where he said he, it was taking him four hours to get ready of treatment just to be able to play. How, when you guys see that, what does that tell you? How inspiring for that is is for the team is that? Yeah, I mean, that's that's just who he is. He's a he's a competitor. You know, hates being told he can't go out there and compete. Um, you know, he's always willing to do whatever whatever he can to go out there and give his best shot to win. So, uh, you know, as a teammate, that's a guy you want on your side. It's a fighter. Um, you know, it's just a guy you want going to battle with us. In all your years with the Dodgers, have you ever seen? more adversity, players hurt, people filling in, stepping up than you have this season? Uh, probably not. It's been a lot of guys, uh, pitchers, position players, um, everybody. It seems like everybody's been battling something. So uh, it's been a lot, but, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, it's tough. But, uh, you know, we've been able to get through it. Guys have to step up. Um, that's just what we do. It's the Dodgers and, uh, you know, go out there, compete, and try to win. Dave on the right. Will, um, the bullpen usage has been massive, obviously, this postseason, and you've had a couple bullpen games, maybe one in game six. So as a catcher, what does that mean <clears throat> for your preparation to have to prepare and know so many guys on any given day that will be pitching that night? Yeah, I mean, my, my preparation doesn't really change. Um, I just go one pitch at a time with those guys. But yeah, they've been nails. They've been really good. Um, just going out and executing um, and putting guys away and putting up zero. So. You know, they're they're doing really well right now and just trying to keep them going. Okay, I'm going to go to Bill here on the right, second row. Yeah, well, with the four, four shutouts in the last five games, how much is game planning part of that? How much does game planning change in the postseason? Are you able to get more intense uh, and deeper about it? Yes and no. Um, you know, it's a lot of conversations with Danny, with Mark, uh, with Connor and Bardo, uh, with the pitchers. Um, you know, we know how to attack them. We, it's just, and then during the game, it's just going out and executing. Um, that's ultimately what we've done really well. It's just executing pitches, um, you know, getting ahead of guys, putting guys away, getting weak contact, just doing all the, all the little things that, you know, add up to zeros and add up to, I guess, you know, shutouts and whatever. We're going to stay right <clears> there, <throat> right? Well, when you played them, that's earlier in the regular season, what do you think the biggest difference is between that team and the one you're facing right now? Uh, I don't know. They're a good, good ball club. Um, you know, I faced them earlier. We still thought they were a good ball club. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, got anything else for Will? Okay, we're going to go to Jay in the back. Three for the mic, Jay. Will, you've had your uh, ups and downs offensively, both in the regular season and here in October. Um, is there anything with your swing that you're particularly concerned about that you're working on right now? Uh, there's, there's always things you're working on throughout the year. Uh, so yeah, there's some stuff right now I'm working on, just trying to clean some stuff up. Um, that's part of it. You know, body changes a little bit, feels change. Um, 
obviously the pitchers are really good, so it's just a fight. Uh, you know, it's just kind of is what it is. But I go up there every every at bat, try to swing the right pitches, try to do something good, and move the ball. Thanks, Will.